let's say uh, a person goes into law, or let's say a person goes into um, uh, economics, or a person goes into politics, having been formed with this vision of anthropology, of rights, of human dignity, all of the rest of it, the whole package, the whole formation package, you go into the world, the decisions you make based on your excellence in what you're doing, the decisions you make and the mechanisms and institutions you put in place, the policies you advocate for, and the arguments you make and persuade others to believe in, is the extension of the church's social doctrine precisely. It's not just a lobbying effort. That's not what the church's social teaching is. It's not a lobbying effort. It's a civilizational formational effort that results from, that's why I said uh, in the paper that it's not something that, that happens to the church, it happens to the faithful. It informs the faithful and then the faithful extend that. The biblical metaphor that's employed uh, is the metaphor of um, uh, uh, yeast in dough. That we are to be yeast in the world. We are to uh, be, and what do you do with yeast? You take it and you put it into the dough and you knead it into the dough, so much so that it's no longer the yeast apart. It's, it so permeates the loaf that when the loaf rests, it begins to have the effect of the yeast. So it's so much a part of it, you can't just pull it out and say, oh, this is the yeast and this is the, the dough. It's part and parcel of the thing. And I think that is what Christ means when he says we are to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world.